Hello and welcome to the workshop. Appreciate you stopping by to talk some sneakers with us. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we do a brand new video almost every single day. So if you are a sneaker lover, you have come to the right place, I promise you that. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, we got a pair of Yeezys on deck today, so we might as well break them out and see what's what. Buckets, any objections? No. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Linen. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks R for us for sending a pair over to the workshop. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. They always have a nice selection. New stuff, old stuff, lots of stuff in between. This particular pair just released a few days ago and retail was 220 bucks. And let me just say, if you tune in regularly, you've heard me rant and rave at different points about being tired of the 350 V2. Too many colorways, they're too similar, and just a lot of colorways that haven't really moved me. They have not excited me at all, to be honest. And you've heard me say all those things. Well, these are absolute fire. Easily one of my favorite 350 colorways to date. I am a little biased maybe because I love the linen colorway almost regardless of what sneaker it's on. I just really, really dig it. The Air Force One linen is one of my favorite sneakers of all time. There's just something about that really subtle tan and the light blue. And obviously different linen colorways have different shades. They're executed a little bit differently, but in general, I love linen. This will 100% be my summer Yeezy, no doubt about it. I don't think they're quite as good as the Zebra. That's my favorite 350 ever. But as far as the new stuff goes, these are easily my favorite. Not a ton of details to discuss really because it is a 350 V2 and there have been so many, but you can see the colors, that linen pretty much all over. Supply stripe on the side, as you can see. And then there's a little blue trim around the ankle as well. Round laces, milky midsole, really light gum bottoms with the boost peeking through as you can see. Boost is life as we know. I'm really trying to decide where I rank these on the all time 350 colorway list. And I know the 350 hasn't even been around for that long, but like I said to my point earlier, there have been a ton of colorways already. I think they gotta be top five for me personally. I mean, the Zebra, the Beluga, the Clay, the black and red pair, and I think this pair. Off the top of my head, those are the best five in my opinion. I think it's nice to always have a 350 in the rotation though. I've been wearing the 700 V3 a ton over the past couple months and those don't have any boost at all. 
So as much as I like that sneaker, it's nice to be able to slide on a boosty pair every once in a while. It's a nice change of pace and boost is always cozy boy certified. We know that. Scale of one to 10, I'm giving these a nine. I got to do it. I'm giving them a nine. Yeah, 8.75 buckets. What are you giving them? Five. Wow. You don't like them? Not really. Unbelievable. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway specifically? How do you feel about the 350 V2 in general? What are your thoughts on Yeezys in general? Yeezy's value just got appraised. His net worth appraisal was a smooth billion. A little over a billion. Wow, a little over a billion dollars. How much of that monetary value do you think is due to the sneakers? Buckets, what do you think? Half of it? Yeah, probably. Who knows? Let us know how you feel. Leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Minana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, how about you? Some life advice? Anything to add other than very low sneaker ratings? No. Got nothing. Adios. Oh.